What's up everybody, Noah Kizrak here from my review of A Belgian Chocolate Christmas. Photographer Kate takes her best friend's place at a Belgian culinary school at the holidays and connects with the chocolatier leading the class. As romance begins to bloom, the only problem is a case of mistaken identity. This film has a couple things going for it. I was really looking forward to this film because I really do enjoy these baking, cooking, chocolate films. When a romance film comes out with one of those plot lines, I really do enjoy these because I do like to cook. I think that the cooking scenes are very well shot and they just look amazing. This film does have a couple things going for it and that is mainly the chemistry between our two stars here. They have phenomenal chemistry. In some of the film, in some of the film it's mostly due to the script. The script is a bit of a mixed bag here. There are some good lines and some good scenes, but there's just nothing that makes this overly amazing. There's moments in this film where it's just a little too dark. The lighting could have been bumped up a little bit. Maybe a bit more of a tint to it would have helped it feel a, bit, a bit, sorry, a bit lighter, a bit warmer, and just overall a more cozy feel. This film does have good chemistry between the two stars. I enjoy the costumes, and it does have a Christmas feel. It doesn't stray away from being a Christmas film. There are moments here and there where you legitimately feel like you could be watching this during Christmas time and not during Christmas in July. Jacqueline Hales does a phenomenal job here as Kate, and I did enjoy Zane Stevens as our love interest. I'm not even going to try and say his name because I don't want to screw it up. This film is a decent little film here. Nothing amazing. Again, the lighting and the script is a bit of an issue. We could have given a bit more detail uh, to, to the actual plot line of the mistaken identity, but that's just kind of thrown out the window. It is a bit of a... See, I don't want to say it's thrown out the window. It's kind of just thrown in there and you didn't need this she could have just gone to this culinary school without being uh w without pretending to be her friend it would have been just a better film because adding this in yes you do get a nice little dramatic scene with some good acting with them having their big climactic uh fight and their overall drama I enjoyed that overall, but this film is nothing special. It's not like it's going to be the best Christmas film of the year, but this is definitely better than I thought it would be. A Belgian Chocolate Christmas is a well-done uh, great American family film that I did enjoy overall, but it's nothing great. Check it out if you're interested. If you like cooking slash baking films, or, or if you just like chocolate films overall, check this one out. I think you will enjoy this one. I'm going to give A Belgian Chocolate Christmas a... C. I did enjoy this one. It's a low C. I gave this two and a half out of five stars on my letterbox, but I'm going to go with a C on this one. So there's my review of A Belgian Chocolate Christmas, and I will see all of you guys next time.